All right. Now, let's hit OK. How do we fix poetry so it's, it's lighter? Well, we now want header h1, not header. So we want the text. Now, when we hit the Edit Style button, we go up to Type, and we can change the color to white. But, when we hit Apply, why didn't it change that text? Well, I'll show you. Hit OK. Now, if we click at the end here and start typing, it's in white, but it didn't change. So what it's doing is it's changing every future thing that you put on onto that header will be in white, but not what you already put on there. So what we need to do is select what we already put on there. So let's click somewhere in there and change it down in the Properties tab to white. And it's on Verdania, which is what I want. And I want it italicized. I think that would look cool. Now, I'm feeling like maybe we need to do some other things like underline it. So keep header H1 selected. We already changed everything future that we would write in there would be in white. Let's hit the Edit Styles button again. Go up to Type. So everything future would be in white. I want everything in future also to be Verdania. Now here's some other options that weren't included down here in the properties section. Underline, line through. You've seen line through before where it scratches a line through it like that. Um, but I think underline would look cool. So I'm going to click underline and apply. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to click up here and I'm going to write... Ah, I forgot to do one thing. Let's go back in here. I want everything in the future to be italic also, because I made poetry italic. I'm hit Apply, OK. Actually, I didn't even need to hit Apply, just OK would have worked. Space, and I'm thinking that of the future is more fitting now with this cool background. Poetry of the future. Looks pretty cool, huh? So we could do further modifications to the text if we want it. Also, just to, to show what you can do with this inserting a background image, let's say you wanted the whole page, you've seen this done on websites before, um, to have a, a background to it that repeats. So let's hit container, which is, you'll see what section this is in a moment. And let's say we wanted that same image put in the background. So let's pick, pick that same image. I'm going to hit yes here again. I'm going to hit repeat. I just want to illustrate what you see on certain websites. And I'm just going to hit OK. Ah, interesting, huh? See how we see the text barely in the white section? And then it keeps repeating, like so. So we could change the main content to a different color to be able to see it better. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that because you can insert a graphic that keeps repeating and you see this on a lot of websites. But in this case, I'm, I'm going to undo that, control Z, and just keep the inserted background image up here. So there's a little bit more on graphic insertion and a little bit more on, on textual manipulation. Enjoy.